Welcome back to the Brandon Spikes YouTube channel, everyone. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and helps me be able to put out this great content for you. Also, consider checking out the Brandon Spikes Instagram and Facebook page. Before we go any further, I did want to let you know that Bond did provide this product to me. When I spoke with them on the phone, they did encourage me to be 100% honest and transparent with you, and that's one of the reasons that I really like this company. All right, now, let's get started. Are you the type of rider that likes to wear all the gear all the time? You know the phrase, at gat. Do you want to wear all the gear all the time, but you don't want to look like you do because you're afraid that your friends will make fun of you? Well, whether you're a dual sport rider, touring across the country, racing dirt bikes, commuting to work, or you ride street bikes, it doesn't matter because Bond Body Armor's got a product that's going to meet all of your needs. Stay tuned. So who is Bond? Well, Bond's a small family-owned business. Their warehouse, assembly, and shipping are all located in Mooresville, North Carolina. And all of their mesh and Lycra products are produced right here in America. Bond strives to provide the best motorcycle riding safety products around, and I can tell you, from personal experience, their customer service is second to none. Bond also provides a 10% military discount for all active and retired military, police, fire, and rescue employees. Leading up to this product review, when I was talking on the phone to the Bond Body Armor employees, I was dealing primarily with Kristen. And for the longest time, I thought that Kristen was actually the head of their marketing department. Well, it turns out that Kristen is actually one of the owners. This company is so small that when you call and speak to someone, you actually are speaking to one of the owners. Regardless of your body type, they've got clothes that will fit you. They've got clothes all the way from double extra small to four extra large. Now, it's no secret, we all know that riding motorcycles in and of itself is inherently more dangerous than riding in a vehicle. It's important that we take our safety seriously. Now, I know that some of you don't like to look like you're wearing a lot of gear. You like the wind in your hair. You like to look cool, whatever cool may be for you. Me personally, I like to wear all the gear all the time. But taking into consideration the external factors such as the heat, the cold, the wind, the rain, all of that stuff. That's why I like this product from Bond Body Armor. This company makes all types of clothing for all types of riding in all types of weather. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the winter thermal armored shirt and the all season armored riding pants. I gotta be honest with you, I love this product. Before I even got my motorcycle, I was looking at what types of armored gear are there for me to ride with. And Bond Body Armor kept coming back. And I kept going back to their website every day, looking at different stuff, thinking about should I get it, should I not get it? Well, I'm glad that I finally did get it, thanks to Bond Body Armor. I absolutely love this product. It feels good, it fits good, their size chart runs true, and most importantly, their armor is CE Level 2 protection, which gives you the highest level of protection of all the armor. And even though you are wearing all the gear, it really doesn't feel like it. Over the last week, I've ridden over 200 miles with all of my gear on and multiple different riding scenarios. Walked from the parking lot into the office, went grocery shopping with all the armor on underneath my clothing, and it really didn't bother me. It was almost like it wasn't even there. Even that tailbone pad, you think that it's really gonna make that riding totally uncomfortable? I mean, obviously you can tell that it's there when you're sitting on a saddle, but you really can't notice it. Like I said, I've ridden 200 miles with it and it really did not bother me. So here is the Bond Body Armor website. You can see right up here, it is bondarmor.com. So let's just go through the website a little bit, starting off here with the hot weather. They've got a couple of different hot weather shirts. One more so for the hotter weather, and I'll get to that in just a second, but uh, the first one we see is Airtex. That is gonna be your mid-weight shirt. And then the summer mesh armored motorcycle riding shirt is gonna be your really hot weather shirt. So I live in Virginia, and it does get hot and humid here. As you can see, this is made specifically for hot and humid riding. If you ride in the hot weather, and you still want all of the protection without having to wear a leather jacket or a Kevlar uh, flannel shirt or something like that, 
this is going to be what you want. You can see it is a little bit see-through uh, if you get the white one. If you get the black one, not as much. Uh, but you can see it still has all of the same body armor that's afforded to you in any of the other shirts. So this is the Summer Mesh Armored Motorcycle Riding Shirt. Uh, we will move on to the other shirts. And I just want to point out one thing that I like about Bond Body Armor is that they offer different colors. You can see here, um, if, you're, if you're wearing armor, you're already safety conscious anyways. And everybody knows that rides motorcycles that cars don't see us that well. So I like the fact that they offer them in different colors. And that's really nice. All right, so that was the summer one. Now we will look at the Airtex. All right, this is going to be a little bit thicker. This has got your all-season riding is what they say. All right, and you've got the same armor that you would have in any of the other shirts or the jackets. All CE level 2 armor. So that's going to be your midweight one. And then the one that I am actually doing the product review on is going to be the thickest one. It is getting a little bit cooler here in Virginia. And Vaughn was nice enough to provide me this shirt. So this is the thick one. This is the cool or cold riding conditions. Um, and again, it has the same armor that you would find in anything else, all level two. So let's look at the sizing real quick. And this sizing is going to be the same for all the shirts, regardless of what you get. So I measured myself at a 43 and a half inches across the chest. So you can see that the large is what would fall under for the 43 and a half. And for the shirts and the jackets, this is where your chest measurement is going to be for the males and the females. And I must say the, the large actually fits really well. Very true to size. Now, um, just for reference, I am 5'10", 195 pounds. And this particular shirt um, is a little bit snug. I think that they're designed to be a little bit snug. Uh, they're not supposed to be designed to wear as a jacket. They do sell jackets, but these are designed to maybe go over like um, like a compression Under Armour cold weather shirt. Maybe you would wear that underneath this, and then you could wear this, and then if it's really cold, you could wear another riding jacket on top of this. Or if it's cool, if it's fall, but it's not cold, um, you could wear a t-shirt underneath and then wear this jacket over the top. So if you like it a little bit loose, um, again, use my body type for reference and go from there. But the large fits me pretty well. All right, let's move on to the pants. So just like the shirts, there's a few different styles of pants. Um, the winter weight is going to be your thicker one. And then you've got the all season, which will be your mid weight. And you have a summer riding pants, which would be your... Um, your hot weather riding. Now you might think that you know you don't want to wear pants on a summer day but the benefit about this Bond Armor is that this is very thin pants material and you can just wear this under any type of really thin um, it doesn't have to necessarily be a heavyweight jean but you could wear this under something like a Columbia or North Face um, type material like a hiking type of pants and believe it or not you, you won't see it underneath I, I, I wore it in the house the other day and my wife could not see it underneath my khaki pants so that is the summer mesh let's go back and we will go over the all season pants which is what I have and also before we get too far into those pants uh, they do provide a couple of different shorts here if you want to wear the shorts instead of the pants all right, so let's go into the all-season motorcycle riding pants, which is what I am reviewing for you. So you can see it's got all the different armor. I mean, everywhere on the front, back, and outside of your legs is completely armored. So you've got the hip protectors, the thigh protector, um, the knee and shin and then your tailbone protector. Now, if you look, you can see it almost looks like a little triangle in there. This, this makes the material super flexible. I mean, very flexible. So regardless of your body type or your riding position, whether you're on a sport bike or a cruiser, 
you're walking around, you're sitting down, it doesn't matter. This is going to flex really well. All right, so let's look at the sizing chart. All right, so I have a size medium pants and they fit me perfectly. Um, I wouldn't want anything bigger or smaller. I mean, it's perfect. And again, I'm 5'10", 195 pounds. Um, I'll average anywhere between a 34, 35 inch waist size and then typically between a 30 and 32 inch inseam depending on the brand of pants that I'm wearing. So again, I went with the medium. This has got a 27 to 31 inch inseam for the 34 to 36 inch waist and they are recommending a medium. So again, just like the shirt, it fits very true to size. All right, continuing on, we've got these same shirts and pants for the women as the men. Again, lots of different colors and the sizing chart, we'll just pick one out here, is the same sizing chart uh, for all of them, okay? So it shows you how to measure right there. All right. So if you go to the shirts tab, it's got the same shirts that we previously went over again in the different colors, the three different weights. Same thing for the pants, three different weights, all the same color. The summer pant is a little grayish, um, but black for the most part. And then, so they've got the pants and the shirts, but they also have jackets. Um, they've got the flannel jacket, which looks really good. I really like the yellow and the gray. These are Kevlar lined as well. All right. Um, and then they've got the actual motor motorcycle jacket here. All right. Now, the cool thing about the Bond body armor is if you already have a jacket or a fabric and you just want to buy the armor, you can do that. You don't have to replace everything every time you need to buy something so if you have a leather jacket like I do um, and you want to just put the armor in that you can or if you already have a shirt and you want to put the armor in that you can as well and you don't have to get all of the armor you can just get what you need um, just the back protector or the the entire shirt jacket or just the pants portion of it um, or you could individualize down here and then new this year is the chest armor as well which is really cool all right now going back up to the top if you have the armor already and let's say that let's say you took a fall or maybe your dog got a hold of your shirt or something I don't know and you already have the armor um, you don't want to buy it again you just want to buy a shirt or the pants same thing you can buy this without the armor and just get the actual shirt or the pants. So that's actually pretty cool. So that is the Bond Body Armor website. So let's talk about the actual clothing for a minute before we get into the armor. This is the winter armored shirt. You can see right here that it's made in the USA. And according to Bond, all of their Lycra, and mesh garments are made in the USA. I can tell right off the bat that this is a very nice quality. You can feel it's got um, it's got some weight to it. You can feel that it's got the internal thermal qualities that you would expect in a winter shirt. It's got a stretchy lycra material. Uh, even all the way down to the actual logo on the front, you can tell that this is a quality rubber patch. Um, the front actually zips up. You can see that there's a zipper there. And overall, I can just I can just tell you and, and attest to the fact that, that this does definitely feel like a quality material shirt. It looks really good. You've got the Bond logo on the actual zipper and you also have the Bond logo on the front. Moving into the pants, this is the Adventure All Season Pants. Again, same material, the stretchy material. It is the Lycra. You can see that it's also made in the USA like their other Lycra and Mesh products. Again, on the back with the same logo, very good quality material. And same with the shirt, you can just tell that the stitching is really well made. So we'll start off with the armor for the pants. The armor is very well labeled. You can see that it's got uh, outside, outside, outside. It's showing you which way to go on the pants. Um, the knee faces this way. 
This is the Cox 6 protector. This is the thigh protector. So very well laid out. If you ever have to take them out to wash them, um, it's easy to put them back in. This is gonna be your knee guard or shin guard protector right here. And what I was talking about earlier with the triangles or the dimples, it makes the material super flexible. You can bend it, it will conform to your body type regardless of your body type or what your riding position is. So the knee protector slash shin guard, you can see that this is also very flexible. So again, regardless of whether you're on the highway pegs or you're on a sport bike or you're on the floorboards of your Harley, this is very moldable. This is gonna be the armor for your shirt or your jacket, whatever you're wearing it in. You got your back protector. This is a very, very robust back protector. And it's got these holes in it that promote airflow to help with uh, cooling in the warm weather. Uh, but very flexible and it's very wide. And I'll show you in comparison in just a second. This is gonna be your elbow slash forearm protector. And again, just like the shin guard, it's very flexible. And then this is going to be your shoulder protector. Again, just like the shin guard and the elbow guard, very flexible. Now, when I spoke with Bond Armor on the phone, they actually said that uh, to double check the measurements for your jacket or whatever you're putting it in to make sure that, that these will fit because they do run a little bit larger than some of the other companies. But uh, if it's kind of right on the border of fitting or not, they said that it's actually trimmable. You just take some scissors or a knife and kind of cut around the edges. I tried this on my Harley Davidson swing arm leather jacket and all of these pads fit perfectly in all of the pockets. So just for comparison to show you how robust and large this Bond Armor uh, back armor is, I've got another type of armor um, that I purchased uh, previous to this and you can see the difference. I mean, this is the edge where that armor ends and you can see how far out the back armor extends. So lots of coverage on your back and spine. So putting these pads in and removing them is very easy. Um, I'm gonna show you on the pants right now. So this is the coccyx protector. This is the outside of the pants. I've got these turned inside out so I can help me put these pads in. So you can see that says outside. So I want it facing the outside of the pant just like that. So right up top is an opening for the armor. And again, these are super flexible. So it really helps with getting this armor put in. Make sure it's nice and flat. And then there's actually a lip at the top of the pocket that folds in just like that. Okay, moving on to the thigh protector. Again, you can see that that says outside. This is not labeled left or right. They're both the same exact size, so it doesn't matter. And again, this is going to be the outside of my pants. So same concept, slide it right in the pocket, straighten it out once it's in there. Two-sided pocket, closes in on itself, and the thigh protector is in there. So for the thigh protector, this is our thigh protector. You can see that it says outside, and then the arrow is facing down towards the knee. So again, the pants are inside out. So I'm gonna want the outside portion facing that way. And again, knee side, down, the knee is that way. So these actually slide in sideways just like this and same type of deal. It's got a closure on both sides to keep it in there. Moving on to the knee slash shin guard protector. Um, again, this is going to be the outside of the knee shin guard and the pants are inside out right now. So I can put these pads in. So just keep that in mind. So as I put the pad in, it's gonna go in just like this. This protector actually slides in from the bottom down near the ankle and the flexibility of this pad, again, aids in getting them in the pants. So put them in there, straighten them out. And then same thing, it's got a lip over the bottom that helps hold it in to keep it from falling out. So we've got our hip, our thigh, and then our knee slash shin guard. So the material on the pants feels very good. Um, almost feels kind of like a spandex or a lycra, whatever you want to call it. And it's very stretchy. So it, it feels good against the skin. And then regardless of whether you're walking or sitting down, it will stretch with you. Another thing I like about the pants is that it has a zipper down here at the ankle that will help you get it over your feet. That way you don't have to jam your feet through there and, and stretch the material out or possibly rip it. You just unzip it, 
put your pants on, and then zip it right back up. So now we'll put in the shoulder pad for the shirt. And again, this is the outside. The shirt is inside out. That's the outside of the shirt. So the pad, you can see the cutout on the shirt is wider up top. So the wide portion is gonna go at the top of the shoulder, closest towards your head, just like that. And it's got the closure on the bottom to keep it from falling out. Now we'll move into the elbow forearm protector. Again, this will be your inside, this is outside, and it goes in just like the shoulder pad did. And it closes over the bottom. So that is your elbow pad. Now we'll move into the back pad. So this is the outside of the pad. This is the inside that will be closest towards your body. Again, I can't just, I just can't get over how substantial this back pad is. Tons of protection. So it's flexible. So we'll open the shirt up at the bottom towards the waist that slides in. And just like the other ones, it closes over the bottom. So that's the back pad. So this is my Harley Davidson swing arm leather jacket. You can buy just the armor and put it in whatever jacket or shirt that you have. But I highly suggest that you measure it because again, if you look at how large the back pad is and even the other pads, uh, they might not fit. So just double check. So with my leather jacket, just by looking at it, it does not look like the back pad is gonna fit, but it is stretchy material in there. So try it out here and just see how well it does. Now it is a little snug, but it does fit. So the back pad does fit in my Harley Davidson swing arm jacket. But again, double and triple check your measurements on your clothes before you spend all that money on the Bond armor and it doesn't fit. So just double check. Now moving on to the shoulder armor for the Harley Davidson jacket. Again, not all jackets are gonna be the same. This is my swing arm and the shoulder armor fits perfectly. I mean, plenty of room in there. Now moving on to the elbow and forearm protector. This is a little bit longer than the cutout for the jacket, but it is flexible. So it goes in there pretty good. And if you had a stiff armor, like some of the other companies sell, you probably would not be able to get it in, but um, I'm having really good luck with this. So that is the elbow forearm protector right there in the jacket. Now obviously you would never ride with just the undergarments on, but I did want to show you what they look like by themselves. Again, this is the thermal armored shirt and this is the all season riding pants. You can see I've got all the armor, the shoulder, elbows, forearms, thighs, knees, hip protector. You can see the back protector in the back. And it's designed to fit snug. It's designed to fit underneath your clothing. If you know anything about staying warm in cold weather, then that base layer, you really want it to be tight so it traps that warmth in. Now, if it's cool, but not cold, or maybe you just want to keep the sun off of you, you can obviously take off whatever jacket or sweatshirt you might be wearing and wear this top layer just by itself. It's got the built-in pockets inside the shirt that holds the armor in so you don't have to worry about it going anywhere. So in this scenario, you could wear your jeans or whatever riding pants you normally wear and just the top by itself. So one of the many things that I like about this product is its versatility. You can wear it with all different types of clothing, jackets, sweatshirts, by itself. It's all up to you and what your style is and what you want to wear that day. Right now, I'm wearing my leather jacket. I have the armor inside of my leather jacket. I've got the shoulders, the elbow, the forearm, and the back protector. I'm also wearing my regular jeans. I've got all of the armor underneath my jeans, knees, shins, thighs, hips, and I have the coccyx tailbone protector on as well. You probably can't even see this armor underneath the clothing. And that's another thing that's so good about this product is you can wear all the gear all the time and your friends will never even know. Maybe leather's just not your thing. If that's the case, no worries. You can wear it with just some jeans and a hooded sweatshirt. So that wraps up the review for the Bond Body Armor. Again, that was the winter thermal armored shirt and the all season riding pants. I cannot stress enough how much I really do love this product. It's great for many different scenarios. They've got a lot of different products for hot weather riding, 
cool weather riding and cold weather riding. And again, you don't have to be a Harley rider. You don't have to be a touring bike rider. This product is great for anybody, regardless of your age. Like I talked about, there's many different sizes that they offer. So regardless of your body shape and size, uh, if you're a street bike racer, if you're a track racer, you do uh, dual sport, uh, motocross, it doesn't matter. This CE Level 2 armor will protect you regardless of your riding style. And trust me when I say, and I really think you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching the Brandon's Bikes YouTube channel, product review on the Bond Body Armor. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, check out the Instagram and Facebook page, Brandon's Bikes. Until next time, stay safe, keep the rubber side down.